navigation directions in relation to own ship's head on a ship an object such as another ship or a light or landmark seen from own ship is reported so many points on the bow or so many points on the quarter or so many points forward or abaft the beam on port starboard side the points on the bow are counted 1 2 8 on both port and starboard bows from right ahead the points forward or abaft the beam are counted from the beam towards stem or stern the points on the port side are numbered similarly to those on the starboard side ahead a stern and a beam are relative bearings in addition when an object is midway between a head and a beam it is set to on the bow and when midway between a beam and a stern it is set to on the quarter the sighting to report will be by day all ships boats floating objects land the relative direction in which sighted by night all lights with their colors the relative direction in which sighted Examples of reports to be made by the lookout man will be as follows. A white flashing light, two points, forward the starboard a beam sir. A red flashing light, two point abaft the port a beam sir. A boat, two points, on the port bow sir. A ship, right ahead sir. A buoy, three points on the starboard bow, sir. Red light on the port bow, sir. Several white lights right ahead, sir. Sound signal, four points on the port bow, sir. The hearing to report will be by day or night. the relative direction from which all sounds are emanating examples points on port bow points on starboard bow lookout duties a lookout man on duty will be appropriately dressed for the weather by warm clothes gloves raincoat extra keep an all-round lookout by sight and hearing report any sighting and hearing of any sound signals to the OOW which means officer on watch sound signals lights and other objects are promptly detected and their approximate bearing in degrees or points is reported to the OOW relieving the lookout man the lookout man would do the following before relieving the previous lookout man be appropriately dressed to suit the weather be aware of the company policy on keeping lookout arrive on bridge at least 15 minutes before time check the course being steered and report to previous duty rating compare the gyro compass and magnetic compass see what ships lights buoys are in sight receive any special instruction if any from previous lookout man change over from hand steering to autopilot and vice versa when a ship is in confined waters or in port or maneuvering the helmsman steers the ship by hand steering the helmsman takes orders from the master or the ooow or the pilot under the overall command of the master of the vessel to set the steering to autopilot steady the heading of the ship on the required course press the central knob of the gyro repeater on the steering control panel and turn the pointer attached to it towards the lubber line and set the pointer on the lubber line put the rudder amidships after the ship enters into open sea on a voyage the steering of the ship can be set to autopilot 
watch the steering by autopilot for few minutes. Report the course being steered by autopilot to OOW.